Okay. So, all gamers die. We all know it. It's not a question of if or even when, but how. How you die, it, it just matters. I guess it's just maybe your dignity that matters. Because you invest so much time and passion to the hunt on the first person shooter games. So it, it ends up meaning something. You practice and you hone your skills. You know, you develop some heart about the game. The stomach of a lion. But every once in a while, you know, something happens that disorders sort of everything that you think that you know about the battle. About valor. About deserving to win. I know we all think we deserve to win, but sometimes you know we don't. But sometimes you feel like you deserve to win. And when you win, you want to win with grace and with some dignity. And we all do. Be honest. And yet, we go forward without fear. We just... We trust our instincts and we trust being able to predict the behavior of our opponent. So... What you'll bear witness to at the end of this video is a harsh truth. It is. Especially for warriors. A lesson that we must all be reminded of from time to time. And that is, unfortunately, sometimes campers win. Sometimes campers win. It's not a comfortable truth. But it is true, nonetheless. They do not scrape and claw for a commanding victory. They do it sort of just enough to survive. Just enough. If hiding is just enough. Victory by hiding. And that is okay for the camper that is just as valiant for them as running and gunning. It is not honor that they see. It is success. And so it matters not which way it is obtained. I know I sound bitter. And I, I may be just a little bitter this time. But to lose one's life to the camper, it enrages your very soul. It makes your blood Indeed. It makes you want to rage quit. Many times I've wanted to rage quit. But you can't. You can't let it get to ya. And I, I hear you. It's not... It's not the same as just dying in a fair fight where you run up on them and they run up on you and you're facing each other. But we move on and we live to spawn again through the magic of video games. It makes us more careful next time. And we let it roll off our backs. I mean, there's going to be some blessings to be sure about getting killed by a camper. And I'm trying to remember that in this moment. I'm trying to think what the upsides are emotionally and even spiritually, I would argue, to getting killed by a camper. I'm sure I can come up with some blessings right now. I know I sound bitter, but I really am not. I, maybe I could invent a video game called, like, Camping, and it would reward
for players who are playing in this way. Thus, putting everyone on a level, level playing field. You could get, you know, bonus points for laying prone or hiding in trash cans. Or another upside could be, you know, getting killed by a camper and then you can friend that camper and then you can just sort of always feel superior throughout your whole gaming career they're in your friend list and you can just look at them as superior but i am not bitter it is just so infuriating to come so close to the glory of number one you know especially in a game like fortnite where it really matters because the winner takes all and snatch away from you just like you know a thief in the night like a robbery i don't know i'm trying not to be bitter but it just doesn't feel right yeah i'm not bitter i'm just explaining you know, and how do you know that this person even killed you? Eliminated. One other person, even, just to get to the point. I mean, they may not, they may just have avoided conflict at all. And here you collected, and you eliminated a lot of other people to get to this point, and invested so much into it, and then they're gonna take your victory from you, just, like, in such a pathetic way, I, I just don't think so. It just doesn't sit well with me. I don't like it. And if you like it, I don't know what to tell you. So we're moving right up to the point of shame here. I'll just share it with the world. Uh, see, I almost had him right there and then he sneaked in that door. So annoyed. I should have had him there. I should have just switched weapons, and here we go. Camper! Watch the victory dance as they plunder your, your trove. They plunder your stuff. Yeah, you can't click off of that. You can't just spawn into another lobby. You gotta watch it. Thanks, Fortnite. And thanks, player, that it was camping. Like, just come, come out and fight me. Come at me, bro. But don't sit in the corner and wait for me to open the door. Look, I just, I guess I expected more. That's all. I expected more out of my opponent than that. Especially at the very end. Alright, I'm done. I'm done. Okay, whatever. See you in the next one.